driver's car. It's so relaxing. It's so nice to drive. It's all intuitive. It does everything you want it to. It stops right now. It handles right now. It's just great. Sort of Jay Leno's garage, the cars are featuring today our old friend McLaren. We are going to be the first to drive the new 750S. These are two of them here. This one has a rather exotic paint job, which you will learn about in just a minute. And this is the car. Well, you can buy both these, I suppose. But we're going to take this one out, and we'll learn what's new, what's improved over the old model. Let's meet Jamie Kostoffen. Jamie, come on in. You're head of product development, product planning. Is that Product what? planning and product strategy. Product, product strategy. There you go. Yeah. All right. Product strategy. But I'm sure people are curious. That's the most elaborate paint job I've ever seen. I, I can't imagine how many hours it took to do this, but it all symbolizes something. Tell us what it means. Yeah, so this is a special paint theme that we've applied to the new 750S, uh, and it's really to celebrate two things. One, it, this year is McLaren's 60th anniversary. Uh, and McLaren is the only motorsport team to win the Triple Crown, to win IndyCar, right. to win the Monaco Grand Prix, and to win the Le Mans 24-hour race. And so this uh, paint theme takes uh, inspiration from the delivery of those three winning cars and blends it together into this incredible demonstration of our specialist team MSO, McLaren Special Operations, their paint artistry. Is this the work of one person or is it, uh, does a team each work on a different set? How does this, how do, how do you do something like this? Well, it's definitely a team effort. Right. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, and, and we, we come up with a, a concept of one person does the design. Right. And then it's a whole team that uh, do the individual paint work. Uh, and it's a, it's an incredible combination of different techniques yeah. uh, around the whole car. Let's move to the back of the car. Okay. A whole different Thing back here. I thought it's pretty amazing. I, I can't imagine. I guess this was all sketched out on paper first. This is what we were Yeah, so it was, as I said, it was one, one person that did the design. Actually, we used a little bit of uh, artificial intelligence to help with some elements. Um, but let's talk through those three winning cars. So, okay. uh, in sort of in chronological order, uh, 1974, Indy 500 winner uh, with Johnny Rutherford in the right. uh, M16D. Uh, so that's the first car. And then we need to uh, jump forward a decade to 1984. And 1984 at the Monaco Grand Prix uh, with the M42 uh, with Alain Prost. Uh, and that's the you know, very iconic red and white livery that McLaren obviously ran for a number of years. Uh, and that's the, that's, the, that's the number seven on, on the car. So the name of the car is 3759, which references the, the race numbers of those cars. So right. uh, three for Indy, seven for Monaco. And then in the middle of the car, we've got the 1995 Le Mans 24-hour race winning F1 GTR, which McLaren you know, entered and won the Le Mans race right. on its first effort. And uh, that's the 59. And that's the that's the that's the grey uh, paint scheme that you see in the middle. And of the that car. was probably the last car you could drive to the track, win the race, and literally drive home. That's right. I yeah. mean, you could do that with the Jags in the 20s and in the yeah. 50s, rather, and the Aston Martins. But by the 90s, everything was so sophisticated. I mean, people don't realize what an accomplishment that was from McLaren because you took a road car, and entered it in a race car only race. I mean, sure, there was yeah. no other road cars really in that. So that was pretty, pretty, pretty incredible that they would just modify a road car. You think, oh, how hard could it be? No, it's really hard. Because we were racing up against the prototype cars. Right, exactly. In, in that race. Exactly. And, and, it was, uh, yeah, that was quite it. And that's really what, and by that time, the sad thing was the F1 was out of production because people had thought, well, how could a car be worth that much money? But once they saw it do that, they realized, oh, it was worth that much money. Then they went back and they paid twice as much money to try and find one again. Let me ask you, this boggles my mind. How many hours, how many days to paint this car? Yeah, so, I mean, it's definitely a team effort, but right. if we just think about it in, in hours, mm. it's actually around 1,300 hours <laughs> and, to deliver this incredible theme. And how many days is that? Yeah, so, I mean, it's, a, it's around, around half a year right. if it was just one person doing it, but clearly it's a team. It certainly looks it, and it's certainly impressive. Let's go to the actual car itself. Come around here, let's talk about the 720S, I thought, was just incredible. I've got the McLaren P1, which is my all-time favorite. Uh, this is the car that comes closest to that. Now it's got even more power. That's right. Okay, yeah. so it was about 710, 720 horse before. What are we up to now? 750? So 750 uh, PS, so 7, 740 right. uh, horsepower. Okay. You know, the, the 720S, when it came onto the scene in 2017, 
I mean, it really set a new benchmark in the supercar space. It really offered hypercar performance in a supercar package. Yeah, that's what I like because it, it, it was hypercar. I mean, the, the, my P1 is only a couple of hundred horsepower more than this, a little less than that actually. But this feels like, and it's that much more modern. It's hard to believe my P1 is a decade old already. Sure. <laughs> but uh, it's been pretty bulletproof. You know, it, it just proves you, if you actually drive a supercar and use it, it will last as long as anything else you take care of. You know, whenever I take mine out, I run through all the features it does. It has a full, full electric mode. You can switch on and off from gas to, to electric to gas or run both at the same time. I put it down in the uh, race mode all the way down on all fours. I don't take it out in the street because it's too low. But just, keep, just to make sure everything's working, and I've never had, well, my battery's 10 years old now in that thing. Yeah, so it's, I, it's, I mean, great to, it's great to see you using, using well, the Well, that's P1. the thing. You know, the biggest problem, I have friends with 918 Spiders and other cars, and they're on their second or third battery because they go away on a trip yeah. and they leave it unplugged for three weeks. And any modern car, I don't care what it is, you can't leave more than a month or else you'd, it's just dead. And then trying to bring that battery back is impossible. But okay, so what do we got here? What so, are the, ch uh, probably lighter? Yeah, so, I mean, there's three real elements of the, of the 750. You know, our mission was to really take that benchmark that we'd established with the 720 and really to raise it up, set a new benchmark. And the three areas of the car that we really worked on. The first is performance. So you're right, obviously, we've, we've lifted, lifted the performance of the car in terms of the power. So uh, it's now got 750 uh, PS, 140 uh, horsepower, so, so an increase of about 30 horsepower. Um, increased the torque, again, by uh, 30 newton meters, up to uh, 800 newton meters. Um, we've also taken weight out the car, so uh, 66 pounds of, of compared to, uh, to right. 720 has been taken out. So that's the, really the, the, the first theme is performance. And then the second theme is that we wanted to improve the, I guess, engagement and thrill that the car provides you. And, and to do that, we've worked both on the powertrain. Uh, this car features uh, uh, shorter gear ratios, so right. more uh, intense acceleration. Uh, we've revised the suspension, so this features the third generation of our proactive chassis control. New suspension hardware in terms of uh, uh, wider front track, uh, new spring rates, uh, front and rear. Um, and we've actually, you know, we've actually worked on a, a new element in, in, of the uh, suspension architecture for the first time on this car, which we've tuned the what we call the accumulators. When you say tune the accumulators, what, how, what do you mean? Explain. So that. just really tuning, just working on the pressure within the accumulators right, okay. and refining it to give us a, not only uh, the control but also to to, ch to change the character of the car, to change the feel. And it's, it's another element of the car that we can work with when we're developing and, and, and setting up the. The chassis feel. My favorite thing about the McLaren is, is the science of it. It's just how seamless everything integrates. The shifts are, I mean, yeah. literally scalpel like. I mean, yeah. It's just so much fun to see how efficient it is because the days of a human being faster shifting a car than, yeah. than a modern transmission. Because I remember that interim period. There was always a, uh, 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 you know, it just on the single clutch transmission. Yeah, single clutch yeah, transmission. Yeah, yeah. So that's the getting into this dual clutch technology is just really incredible. Just, I mean, it, it's as if you're just taking a, a knife and just cutting something sure. as sharply as you could, you know. And it, it, it just just makes it really fascinating. And that whole billet-like feel you get when you when you get behind the wheel, um, yeah, it's 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 really exciting. And it's great to have the different driving modes. So, you know, we've got on the powertrain side, uh, as before in all, all of our models, you know, we have three driving modes, so uh, comfort, sport, and track. Right. And that gives, gives you as a driver the opportunity to change the character of the car, right. depending on what you want. And I think, you know, when you go out and drive it later, you know, in sport and track, it just gives you that incredible excitement on the upshifts and, and, and uh, when you get on, the, get on the power. But, you know, I find sport comfortable, you know. The thing that annoys me on so many cars is that the fact you're driving, what's that rattling? What, what's that? There's always something that, and I've never had that problem with the, my P1 or even these when I drive. It just feels like a solid piece. So you, you just feel confident that everything is, is working correctly, you know? Nothing annoys me more than a check engine light comes on. And I go, okay, do I have a broken crankshaft? Or is my gas cap just loose? You know, it's, 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 it could be either one of those things, you know? So th that's what I like. I, 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 don't, I don't get that with these. And the, Ability to take away whatever weight it has, I, I find pretty amazing. It feels so light and so 
Yeah. So, yeah. so this car, you know, it, this is obviously a completely you know, modern car with all the safety systems and convenience uh, factors you need right. in, in a car. Uh, but this car weighs uh, 2,800 pounds dry. Is that right? It's 2,800 20, pounds dry. Okay. Yeah, which okay. I think is you know incredible for for a yeah. high performance car. And you know, that's you know, you know, from our perspective, we have, we've hit that mission of resetting a new benchmark. I mean, this car is you know, it's our our lightest and most powerful series production uh, McLaren to date, and in the in the sector of the market that it, it, it operates, it has definitely the highest power to weight ratio against its its direct competitors. Which so, is, for course, those that are perhaps new to the brand, we have a V8, four liter. So, so this is a four liter twin turbocharged right, V8, turbocharged, right. uh, and this is this is a pure internal combustion engine. Right, no hybrid. Setup, so there's no hybrid on this. So obviously, it sits in the range with cars like the Artura, which is our high performance hybrid. Right, right. And it's great to give 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 our customers a choice of their powertrain. Uh, you know, so flavor. where did we save the 60 pounds? In the wheels, in so the body? Exactly, so wheels, uh, the, the standard seats are, are a lighter seat. This is the optional comfort seats, mm -hmm. but also in areas such as the glazing, and at the rear of the car, we have a, an air brake, uh, which is actually larger than that of the 720, uh, contributing to an impre improvement in the uh, overall downforce and balance. But it also takes weight out because the because the air brake is uh, made of carbon fiber at our new facility uh, in Sheffield. Now here's a pub question or cars and coffee question. I get this all the time. When you, when you go to the car meets and people come in with their McLarens or Ferraris, whatever, well, my friend can tune these, he can get, no. When you get this from the factory, you're getting as much power as they can get out of it, right? I mean, there's nothing Absolutely. the home tuner really can do. Change exhaust. You know, everybody wants to buy some custom exhaust system, which to me just makes something louder or rattier sounding. Doesn't make it actually loses power in most. Isn't that? That's absolutely the case. Yeah. You know, we we with this car are not. You know, we're not we're not holding power back. Right. This is the maximum we can get in in this car, um, and to meet the regulatory requirements, sound requirements, but also to meet crucially our durability. Uh, you know, cycle. Right. Uh, I mean, if you want to, you know, for home tuner wants to tune the engine up it might not meet the same uh, right. durability uh, it, requirements it, it, that we it, set exactly for our cars. exactly but just the idea that a different muffler or different headers are going to be better than the factory unit no. is is really not i mean that might have been possible 25 years ago you bought a corvette yeah. or something and okay okay the big catalytic converter yeah. or whatever. but nowadays it's it's science it's yeah. just science now so don't please don't don't mess with it and then bring it back saying, oh, what happened? And our, our team are always pushing for the absolute maximum huh? anyway. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah exactly. you're trying to get, I mean, this was the 720. That seemed like more than enough. Yeah. Okay, now it's the 750. You know, the 810 is somewhere down the road. Uh, you know, who knows? Well, this is obviously, you know, this is this is a spider. You know, right. so we're introducing the coupe and the spider of the 750. Okay, you know, something I didn't center. realize this is a spider. So this is a spider. And obviously, you know, like all McLarens, it's built around a carbon fiber right. tub. Uh, and that means that, you know, we don't need to add any structural strengthening to, to convert it from a coupe to a spider. Right. I mean, normally if you have a, you know, a aluminum unibody construction, you need to add some strengthening. But with a carbon tub, you don't. And it means that really it's a spider with- So no everybody components. starts with the same carbon fiber tub. Exactly. And then you make it a spider or a coupe. So exactly. no reason to put an extra brace here That's or some exactly sort of cross part. Yeah. Okay, well, very good. Do you sell more spiders than coupes? Certainly, certainly in America. Yeah, yeah, because it seems, you know, I just, the car just rolled in here. Uh, first time I've seen it, I just thought it was a coupe. I mean, the fact that this is a spider is pretty amazing. And it's, the difference is what, 60 pounds, you say, something like that? Yeah, that's, yeah, no, 60 kilos is a 60 difference. 60 kilos, yeah. okay. So, all all right, all right. Yeah, that's, that's pretty amazing. And the, the, the roof is, you know, the, actually it's fully electric in right. terms of the operation, which means it's very fast and very quiet. Yeah. Uh, and you can, you can do it up to about 30 miles an hour. Oh, that's great. Um, and with the spider, obviously, you've got the benefit of having the, the little rear glass uh, which you can drop independently of the roof so if it's raining which it doesn't rain very much here right you can drop that get the sound from the exhaust without putting the roof down i'm stunned that it's under three thousand pounds yeah i mean we're always pushing to, to keep the cars as light as possible because and power you, to weight is the most yeah. important thing and really. you figure out safety equipment is probably 900 yeah, pounds yeah. something like that yeah. if you were to take out the you know, the steel door guard beeb and the airbag and all the accessories and all that. So it shows you how light the car really is yeah. because you, obviously you have certain things you have to have yeah. and it's the same on all the cars. So that, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty amazing. All right, let's see what else. That's a new wheel. Is, that, is this 
Is yeah, this so a new wheel the for the 750. So okay. a new wheel for the 750. Okay. Uh, this is an optional wheel, but uh, so yeah. So there's some some design changes uh, for the 750 over the 720. I mean, we wanted we wanted the car to to really keep the the I guess the distinctive look of the right. 720. You know, it came to market in 2017. It was it had a very very you know iconic look to the car around the the, uh, the headlights with the eye sockets that take air right. in, in in past the headlights uh, into the cooling circuit and also what we call the double skin door here so you've got you know two elements to the door here and the air goes in here to right. the main cooling circuit so we wanted to keep the distinctive look of of the 720 into the 750 but we've changed the splitter and the bumper to improve the aerodynamic balance of the car on the su side we've also made a change to this intake down on the on the just area here right um, which is also to help with the increase in the uh, performance of the engine and which tire is that is that the so this is a Pirelli P0, a Pirelli P0. obviously always Pirelli with McLaren yeah uh, and we offer three tire uh, options for the 750 the Zero the Corsa and the Trofeo R. you know the great thing about them is it's a production tire it's not manufacturer only tire you know I, I've got an F1 and somebody said, I got a good deal on four tires for you. Yeah. Well, how much? 22,000. Okay, that's a little high, yeah. 22,000. You know, where, there's a piece of, you can go to any tire store. You know, if you blow a tire going across the country, you, you can get one of these. Yes. You're, you're not getting an odd, weird, you have to sit at the gas station for two weeks sure. waiting for the tire yeah, to show sure. up, you know. And that's a great tire, the yeah. P0. That really is something. It really is something. Should we talk about some changes inside? Because yeah. I, said, I said at the start, there's, you know, three themes for, right. for this car. Uh, performance engagement and the third theme is technology so we wanted to add more technology to the car so in the cabin there's a we've changed uh, how you activate the different uh, both powertrain and handling modes we've moved the controls up onto the binnacle uh, so you can just reach out from the steering wheel don't have to take your hands right uh, off off the steering wheel and you can adjust you can adjust those those modes very nice uh, and we've also uh, added new screens new high definition screens and we've added a technology such as carplay to, which are just convenience features that, of course, our customers expect and demand. So any panels on this fit the 720 or are totally different? So, as I said, so the, 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 this bit's new, right. front, uh, and this, this uh, intake on the side. Right. And then as we go to the back, there's quite a lot of changes at the back here. So the air brake that I mentioned earlier, 20% right. bigger, made of carbon fiber, also lighter. The whole rear bumper uh, is new. Uh, with these in, new in, intakes here, or um, actually exterior outlets actually rather than intakes. And the car 750 has a new exhaust design, both in terms of the actual uh, tailpipe here, but also in terms of uh, the enti entire design of the exhaust system with a real focus on making the car sound as good as possible. So it's a standard sports exhaust. We've retuned all of the orders. When we get out and drive the car, I think you'll, you'll yeah. think it sounds fantastic. And this crush zone here, it's amazing to me how well all that. I remember the old days they put the, just a big giant bumper on the back and they go, oh, sure, yeah. It's amazing how they've managed to integrate that so it just looks so seamless. It's really, really something, really nicely done. Okay, are we about ready to go for a ride? Can we, can we see? Well, we can't see the you can't see You can't see the engine yeah. on this model. On a coupe, you can. Actually, yeah. it was an optional um, window that's been on the parcel shelf behind the seats, and you can see into the engine. But on the, on the Spider, you can't other than really just through this, through this area. How do I check my fluids? So obviously, the car will alert you, right. should you need to do it, to, to, to um, you know, top up any of the fluids. Right. But these panels remove, and okay. you can access the, uh, oh, I see. Access okay. the filling areas. Now, is this something open only at the dealer, or can you open it yourself? You can open it yourself. There's okay. a little tool that comes oh, in the front okay. of the car. All right, very good. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. So, uh, and we're ready to go, eh? Yeah. So yeah, so we're in comfort and comfort at the moment, right. which is how the car always starts up. Right. Um, which is why we've added this sort of speedy Kiwi button so that you can really easily just recall your your favourite settings. So um, I mean, I would personally I would try it in in uh, 
uh, handling sport and powertrain sport. So if yeah. you just go uh, up on there we go, if you press there, and then do the do the same on the uh, other side. I'm on sport, 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 sport. Yep. I was like a stalk for the turn signals. I hate to do because they have a button here and a button here, and I always have to look. Yeah, there's a, to... it's a bit of a trend to put more and more stuff yeah. on the steering wheel. And... Uh, I don't like it. So one of the things that we really worked on is to, to work on the sound of the car. Right. So uh, it's tuning the actual exhaust themselves, and then we have a a system that connects the cabin to the, to the uh, yeah. intake. Um, oh, it's got start-stop on it as well. Yeah? yeah, it does, exactly. You know, when I got my F1, one day I got in it, it just went, it was dead. So I'm calling, I call England, and I got this, and it, well, you can set a console, try and jump it over. They so, said, okay, we're doing that, and we got all the truck stuff. I don't know what to do. So I got a friend in the F1, let me call him. He goes, is your button on? I said, what button? There's a secret button under the dash. <laughs> Where? Nobody told me. You've got to have a secret button. Nobody told me about it. And I reach out, I press the button, and oh, it starts. I go, um, uh, it was like we had the whole center. It's almost like they uh, huh? designed it that way, just to, <laughs> yeah, just to uh, wind yeah. you up. It only confuses the owner. <laughs> it's not good. God, I shouldn't have moved it off. So suspension-wise, we've, as I said, changed the spring rate. We've actually gone a little softer at the front, but firmer at the rear compared to the 720. Uh, retuned the dampers, and then, as I said, used, retuned the, the pressure in the accumulators. Right. Um, the front track is a little wider than the 720. How uh, much wider? Uh, quarter inch, or something? Six millimeters. Oh, okay. It makes all the difference. Yeah, because if you haven't sex, that extra six millimeters. <laughs> Gonna get you something. <laughs> I love far how far out they have the A pillar. Yeah, I like right. the fact that uh, my first generation Ford GT is right here, and I'm I'm always convinced as a kid on a bicycle in between here and here. Sure. And I'm I'm just I'm doing this all the time, moving my head in and out. Actually, it's one of the things that we do very early in the development phase for a new car. We we, we uh, test the visibility, so right. we have a like a. a uh, like a computer game simulator, right. with, uh, seats and a uh, steering wheel, and then we have the virtual reality goggles, and uh, we can put those on with the design of the car, right. and we can try angles, we can drive the car on the street, on the track, right. because it's so important. And if you get to the point of having actual prototypes and you realise you've made an error, it's a bit late. So you have yeah. to do it really early in the design phase. Well, it feels very McLaren-y. I can get the Good. mclaren -ness. I can feel that in the in the sort of DNA. You just get used to a certain brand and the way they do things, you know. Uh, yeah, I've been very, I've always been very uh, uh, impressed by McLaren. The customer service and all. When you talk to other people, they say the same thing, you know. They, well, it's important to look after people. Uh, yeah. You say there's I, a lot of choice. It, it's true, it's true, yeah. <laughs> I know is you have these sort of niche guys, it's like Porsche has guys that just do Carrera GT. That's it. You know, uh, they got you know Pony, the guy for F1. Pony, yeah, yeah, Pony, yeah, 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 yeah. He just travels the world taking know, care of F1. You know, you know. Uh, so you know, so it's kind of fun. You know, it's great when you have somebody who's a real uh, expert in their field. Yeah, I haven't met the P1 guy yet, but I haven't yeah. needed him. So. So obviously this is a spider, so we can maybe put the roof down later, but it's oh, got yeah. this um, electric chromic roof, so it's an option, so you've got a panoramic roof and then you can touch a button and it'll change the... Oh, yeah. Change the colour? Yeah. Let me press that, change the colour. Oh, I see. So if you don't want to have so much... Baking in the sun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then when you lock the car, it automatically uh, goes dark, so keep right. it cool, and then when you unlock it, it'll remember the last setting you'd used. Yeah, I read nothing but, uh, but good things about the motor, either in the 3.8 or the 
fully the guys. They all seem to be pretty bulletproof. I don't see people with broken conrads and things like that. You know? So with, with this car, we wanted to take some of the best bits of the 720 and some right. of the best bits of the 765 and try and offer something which has got a, some of the excitement of the 765, but in a package that is not quite so... Uh, Safe to say this is the bread and butter car. This is the one that seems to fill most well, it, niches I mean, for most people. Yeah, I mean, it's you know it's obviously early days with this model, but we, right. we, we launched it earlier in the year and it's had a fantastic response. We've got a yeah. great uh, order position and um, you know people are just about to get their cars, so it's a super exciting time for us. And this is a sport mode. It's quite comfortable now. I don't know how much... More comfortable comfort would be. This seems this seems actually just right. Yeah. So I mean, we, we think that's the, this is the best setting. Yeah. Uh, and when the cars are delivered from the factory, that will be the default position for the yeah. speedy Kiwi mode. And then obviously, the customer can save their own personal preference. But for me, I, I love it in this mode. Okay. What are, how to put the top down? Go ahead, yeah. different world. It's just 11 seconds. I don't know why you buy a hard top. I mean, it's, it's a hard top. Yeah, it really gives you the best of both worlds. Yeah, I would buy this and skip a couple of munches. <laughs> driver's car. It's so relaxing. It's so nice to drive. It's all intuitive. It does everything you want it to. It stops right now. It handles right now. It's just great. And with 750 horsepower, almost everything else in this price bracket is 500 or maybe five, five and a quarter. You got, you got an extra 250 horsepower here. As we were saying earlier, it's, uh, it's also about the power to weight. Right. It's having that you know, high power figure, but also super light. 2,800 pounds dry, just over 3,000. You know, it does feel much lighter than my P1. And with this, we've got the, the shorter gear ratios that right. just give you that extra acceleration, make it more exciting to drive. Yeah, you've got P1 performance at, at a lesser price. I mean, we've got the top down and we're having a conversation. Yeah. And you're going 60, 70 miles an hour. And then obviously, we've also had a lot of technology to this car. So CarPlay. Yeah. If you ever get tired of the sound of the engine, which is obviously unlikely, we've got right. this Bowser Wilkins stereo. Bowser Wilkins is a British uh, high five. Right, right. Petra, and we've upgraded and retuned the, the system for the 750. Yeah, the best radio is right here. <laughs> It's such a relaxing car to drive at speed. It really is nice. Nothing more enjoyable to me than driving a car. Especially when it drives like this. It's just so nice. You know, I'm one of those people, it's what I'm driving is more important than where I'm going, you know. I'm not, I'm not really going anywhere. Like I said, I'm going to go out for a drive. Well, where are you going? You pick something up? No, I'm just going for a drive. Well, why, why are you just driving around? What are you doing? Like, you know. And it's important, really, for a car to be able to thrill you at these sort of speeds. Yeah. Because these are the, you know, this is how you can drive it. I mean, yeah, the car's got so much more performance and you can go on track, but it's got to thrill you when you're driving it right. exactly. on real-world road speeds. I'm barely aware that we have the roof off, you know, other than the fact that the sun is streaming in. I, I feel I'm, better, I'm not being buffeted to death. You can have a conversation. I mean, you really see the aerodynamics come into play with that. And it's great to be able to hear the sound of the engine, like yeah, the roof yeah. down. Yeah, it's really hear it. That extra 30 horsepower comes in handy. <laughs> it, sure, it sure does. And the braking is definitely uh, to match. You know, the braking the brake is really... Is the upgraded brakes with the 750, so... The braking is really incredible. But how do you find the brake pedal feel? It's Excellent. Again, you know, I've got, I've got that SLR, yeah. and that had that electric brakes, and there's a, 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 
a flash of time that's so minuscule, I don't even know how you measure it, but when I touch the brake, nothing happens. And, but then it happened, you know what I mean? And whereas this is, it's right now. It's right now. But with, with the steering and the brakes, yeah. like, it's got to be absolutely perfect yeah. to give you the confidence to really want to Well, it really is, because touch the car. I can feel, it's almost like I'm driving barefoot, because I can feel exactly how much pressure is on my shoe. As I'm, as I'm slowing down. Yeah, it's really, uh, it's really linear. It's, it's very good. I mean, no gimmicks, no tricks, not stupid wings and stripes. It's, it's, all, it's all real science. It's really exciting. And the engine is so turbine-like, it really is. It's a seamless power delivery, like, almost like an electric, you know, except you've got, obviously, the noise and the... Well, it's, the, it's the engine, but also the gearbox. It's, it's, it's yeah. so, with the dual clutch, it's so slick. Yeah, it really, really is. Well, that's the fun part about McLaren. You get to meet the folks behind the scenes and do all the work and make the cars perfect. And, and everybody's an engineer or a driver, you know. It's, you don't meet marketing people who have no idea what they're talking about, you know. Everybody at McLaren knows the cars inside and out. Really exciting, really fun. Oh, it's a brilliant place to work. And it, it, huh? It's a brilliant place to work. And oh, it's, yeah. It's just full of car enthusiasts. That's what I mean, yeah, that's great. And it's a real, it's a real pleasure to, to be involved in a team that brings these, these cars uh, to fruition. Jeremy, thanks for bringing this to us. I appreciate it, my friend. It's great to see you again. The new 750S. I, I, it's, until whatever comes along next, this is unbelievable. See you guys next week.